What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Lane. I'm Honey Fuego. We have a little backlog of trailer reactions we want to react to. So the first one we're going to try and do as more of a creature theme. Mm. Um, so the first one we're going to react to, they actually dropped a teaser trailer for the upcoming Swamp Thing TV series that's had some tumultuous things happen recently. Oh, maybe so something I didn't hear about. It is, it is supposed to be coming to the DC Universe app. Mm-hmm. But produced by recently they announced that the series has been halted. Um, they ha they're going to allow it to do 10 episodes instead of 13 episodes. Hmm. And instead of it being season one, this is intended to be the entire series. Whoa. And the implications are that, I believe, is it Warner Brothers that wants to do an app or something like that? It, there's sure. something that says that the DCU app might not actually stay because the company that owns the properties that would otherwise be on it wants to launch an app of their own. Hmm. So they would just absorb everything on the DC app. And so not unlike the Marvel series on Netflix that got canceled, um, whether they had future oh, plans or not, so it might be because it's being shut down to be moved over, or it's being shut down because all of that stuff is coming to a halt on the DCU app. Well, that would be a bummer for fans of like Titans and Doom it Patrol, would be. it would be and stuff like that, and Although, the team, yeah, the Teen yeah. Titans uh, uh, cartoon too that came mm -hmm. back. So yeah, damn. well, I, I mean, I don't know a lot of people watching the DC stuff. I don't either. I don't either. I but let's start with that, okay? So Check we're gonna out. start with Swamp Thing. James and then Bond we have Pazoo. two other um, creature-themed ones to look at. So here we go. Sweet. Um, oh, I guess I should pull it up on the uh, window first so everyone Always else can see here too. Wah, wah, wah. All right. And here we go. In tree, true, chuan, tro. An original series now truncated to a shorter original series. How much trimming will they have to do for they, like, they said you're gonna purposes, have to, just I mean, so you know you're gonna have to wrap it up in 10 instead of wrapping up season one in 13 you're gonna have to wrap up the whole thing in 10 it makes you wonder how much like subplot they were already up to like filming seven or eight so they only yeah. have two episodes to correct this is all we get really okay well he looks pretty good yeah, he does he looks really good I dig it he looks really good he does indeed and that's god damn get. it and they're shortchanging the this why? Coming May. 33rd. That looks really good. Yeah, it does. They set the atmosphere, and I mean that swamp thing right there. Yeah. That looks really good. Why are you doing this to us, DC Universe? Well, and it makes you wonder, like, what iteration of Swamp Thing they're going to be basing it on. It's got to be Alec Stu, Holland. If it's going to be Alan Moore, if it's going to be, I mean... Well, it's got to be the Alec Holland Swamp Thing. It's just a matter of which derivation of it. But well, yeah, like I imagine they'll lean towards the Alan Moore stuff, because that's where it really started to sing. Yeah. But, I mean, in, in that Abby one, Arcane it wasn't even an actual stuff. person, right? It was, like, something that thought it was no, a person? No, it was or? something that saw, thought it was a person. That's yeah. that, that could be a really good angle to play still. God, he looks really cool. He really looks badass. He looks really cool. Yeah. He looks like a mossy creature the way he should. Hmm. That looks so good, dude. Although, I have a soft spot for uh, Return of Swamp Thing. The See, second one, I, man. <laughs> I never watched those movies, and the first one's Wes Craven, so I absolutely should. The first one's just okay, but the second one is, like, so bonkers ridiculous but i i hear the look I, they, they did a side by side That's and the look Heather is just Lockley awful compared like he's got a rubber face instead yeah. of like and look at he looks he looks all fully integrated yeah, now he, he looks, looks dope yeah. that and looks then there was so the cool t and then there was the tv series i used to watch in syndication as well but yeah. grab a screenshot of that <laughs> yeah, i was gonna say <laughs> um that could be part of the thumbnail so yeah, yeah that that looks well, really to cool to me to the creative process so. yeah absolutely i'm i'm uh -huh. excited about that even though they're 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 it is shortening just a reveal, it to 10 as they described it <laughs> so all Not right much beyond that so that's swamp thing all right so are you, are you bummed now seeing that about it being yeah. shorter or? well well yeah especially with how, how rad that looks but i mean yeah. Hey, you know, behind the scenes politics dictate, unfortunately. Normally, I'd be like, so. if it was set out to be a 10 episode series, great. It's less of an investment. Yeah. That's what's so nice about Netflix. I mean, the second season of Sabrina was only nine episodes. Yeah, I would imagine they were maybe doing rewrites on set then if they were taking it from 13 to 10 episodes. Oh, well, they have to be. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, they have to completely I mean. reframe the end of it. Yeah. Because they're, you know, again, this was meant to be season one of mm -hmm. good, good Lord knows how many seasons. Yeah. Now they're supposed to just end it all in one. So it's it's going to be really rough. So. Yeah, it's a bummer. All right. So the next one is one that was requested by um, a viewer and it's called The, the Headhunter. 
<clears throat> so this is a creature movie, I believe, I know which is about this right movie. up our alley, Fuego. Yes, we like it. So we like it to see them chomp at the people. Indeed, like it to see the chomp at the people. Mm -hmm. All right, and here we go. In tree. Wait, hang on. I don't think I pulled up the window. So. Is it a period piece? Um. Yes, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. All right, three, two, one, go. I was gonna say it looked like it. Yeah, it Vikings. Shot. I think maybe. Mm. Yes. I always thought I could protect her. Yes! Oh boy. He's still out there. You know me, I love creature movies in this sort of frame. You hated Outlander, I loved it. I didn't hate it. it we just, still need to review that shit. It was just a pain, I think. Ooh, he looks like a good actor. Whoa. Yes! Okay. Yeah. Ooh! Okay, so he's got heads of all these different creatures and stuff. Is that what it is? Uh, or people turns creature? They almost look like trolls. And yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. Woo! Woo! Well shot, dude. Like hell the, yeah. The production values look legit. Overflowing with imagination and atmosphere. Clearly. And it's Clearly. <laughs> dude, I am so on board for this. I actually really love this kind of movie. Mm. <gasps> Woo! Okay, Fire here forever. Oh! A creepy spider dying in the bricks. Uh, oh, nice, man. Oh, that was a spine. That's definitely what it's Vengeance is upon us. All right, I absolutely have to add that to yeah, my list. Yeah, holy Good shnikes, yeah. gracious. Yeah. That looks awesome. I like most of what, what Vertical does, too, man. Vertical's pretty legit. Go ahead, give your overall thoughts, because I'm legitimately going to take the time to add it to my <laughs> list real quick, because I don't want to forget No, this. this looks rad status, man, and I'm just really curious, like, the, like what full scope of creatures we could potentially see in this, because obviously he's been hunting different varieties from what we can tell by all of his trophies and whatnot, but... Yeah, I'm I'm definitely down with this sort of uh, you know medieval kind of Nordic uh, Got it. setting as well. I am super super into this. Yeah, you see that looked like like an orc or like a like goblin. Yeah, they kind don't of look human fully. No. Yeah, but, they look but, humanoid. But like slightly but... humanoid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. I to. love it. I love it. They made it look so big, dude. This drone looks... shots can make movies look so big nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, but just the, that shot right there, man, with the fog and with the trees, and it just. It, it gives it such significant scope. It genuinely does. And mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm assuming this is some sort of character who could not save family from said creatures and then is just on some eternal vendetta, just trying to kill as many as possible. And he's like, you know, huddled up, living by himself now. But yeah, this is, this is super cool. And honestly, if you really only have like one major cast member, and you can just put all of the rest of the money into having a great set and having cool creature effects and things like that. I mean, devastating yeah. climax. It says, "Wow, Ooh, huh? uh, yeah, man, Count this me looks in, man. great." <clears throat> I, I'm I'm on board for this for I'm sure. Did his armor too, man. And I mean, yeah, yeah the headhunter. Great, great. Um, yeah, no, it looks shot amazingly. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be acting great. Like, and and it doesn't look like it's going to have the deepest of casts. But yeah, this is this it's it's odd. I don't like period pieces, but this doesn't strike me as a period piece. This strikes me as a survival piece, and I actually like survival pieces, and when it's, it looks a little lone wolf and cubbish, right? There's a young girl there. It doesn't look like he's walking with her the whole time, but... Well, no, I was thinking that's, like, his wife, and he wasn't able to, to protect okay, her. Okay, there you go. So, like, you probably caught on to that. So, no. now yeah, he goes that? hunting and stuff like that, and... He, he's obviously going to run across other people, but oh, it just looks like it's going to be so awesome. Mm -hmm. This looks like something that Frank Frazetta would have designed the, the stuff for if he was still around. You and know this I mean? is less period specific in my estimation, even though it obviously is. It's more like specific setting. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. feel like that really just adds a lot of flavor to the proceedings. So there yeah, you go, guys. Dope, why dude. don't you guys let us know in the... I'm getting caught up in watching the trailer. So <laughs> why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below about um, that one. So that's the headhunter. Mm -hmm. So the next one is called Something Else. And this is the uh, Tribeca Film Festival clip that came out. 
Okay. So um, I thought it was a full trailer. It looks like it just might be a clip, so mm-hmm. we're just going to check it out since we're here and it's a creature thing. So. Well, if it's that Tribeca man, I mean, that's prestigious proceedings. So. so here we go. Let's check it out. Something else, Tribeca Film Festival clip. Yeah, it is only a minute and a half. Three, two, one, go. Cue. You said you saw its hand. D- did you mean its hand or did you mean paw? I look like a hand, Wade. <laughs> I don't know, man. I was watching a video the other day on aliens. <laughs> and if they land here, scientists say they're probably going to be predators because they need meat to grow the brains the size they need to be to get the technology they need to fucking get here. <laughs> Interesting. And then they showed a bunch of pictures of what aliens could look like, and they don't look like us, man. It's like dark crystal shit. <laughs> <laughs> Because they come from different gravities and they have different like chemical makeups, they they're like, like it could be a squid with like six eyes, or it could have like no eyes. I feel about as burnt as this guy leads the charge. (laughs) Yeah, Hank. It was a nightmare, and it wasn't a horror movie. It was the Discovery Channel. (laughs) Fucking day. Watch a lot of TV, Bubba. Mm. He's gonna have to get taken out from behind, right? Like, I'm someone's going to go from the side and take him out. Like that, come attack out of some sort. Of mm-hmm. It better happen. I'm going to have a fucking mental breakdown, Hank. I wouldn't worry about it, Wade. You're just waiting for I'm it the way they have the shot framed up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> what? what? Did the front guy get taken out? Hmm. Is that what I missed? Did he? No, no, no not yet. All right, well... No indication. We just hear some weird little, like, raptor noises. It's a bit of a clip, but I'll yeah. still watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm down. I'm just liking the, the acting and the interplay between the two leads. Indeed, so, indeed. Or, for presumed leads, I should say. All right, so... Um, Depending if one gets taken out, like you were saying. Why don't we go ahead and just call that one there, oh, then, yeah. for oh, those three. So, yeah. um, why don't you let us know in the comments down below, what did you think of those three trailers? Swamp Thing, or The Headhunter, or yeah, yeah. something else. The little clip that we got out of the Tribeca Film Festival... Do any or all of them interest you? Which ones don't? Why? Let us know in the comments down below. Let's get that conversation going. While you're down there, go ahead and click the like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you want to watch more. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. And gracias, Oppenheim. Fuego! And remember, stay Stay scared. scared!